Right, so today we are uh, out here at some apartments. We're doing actually a leak search on this unit here. What that is, what does that mean? Well, basically all your air conditioning systems are filled with refrigerant from the factory. So they're gonna come with a factory amount of charge inside of the air conditioner, whether that be seven pounds, eight pounds, 10 pounds, it doesn't really matter. Every single one is gonna have a specific charge that they want to basically stay in there. They are hermetically sealed systems. So once it's in there, shouldn't go anywhere. There's no topping it off. If it is low on refrigerant, that means that there's a leak in that system somewhere. Basically what we're doing today is we are going to be trying to find a leak. We're gonna pull apart the outdoor unit out here. We're gonna pull apart the indoor coil inside and we're gonna do everything we can to basically locate that leak. And if we can't fix it, then we will look into what we gotta to do to replace it or fix the part that is leaking. Here's one of the many tools that we can use to find refrigerant leaks. Um, now what this is gonna do is gonna start warming up and and it's gonna heat up a diode inside of here. It's basically smelling for trace amounts of refrigerant. Once it hits those amounts of refrigerant, it should beep very fast. And that's just gonna kind of be a way to pinpoint us to where that leak could be. It's not really a dead on way of finding a leak, but if it can put, point us in the right direction and help us find a leak, that is terrific. So we'll go ahead and start with the sniffer test and then we'll go from there. So whenever we're looking for leaks in these coils, a lot of the times we do like to start inside at the evaporator coil, mainly because these are typically where we'll find most of our leaks is gonna be on the indoor coil. But ultimately, we're gonna look for leaks really everywhere. And if we find one leak, that doesn't mean that that is the only leak. Sometimes it's a matter of finding multiple leaks or just basically keep going through the system until we can ensure that there isn't any leaks in there.